gender ideology today is one of the most dangerous ideological colonizations. Second most dangerous, veganism. <laughs> According to the pontiff, the harm from gender theory comes from its erasure of the differences between men and women. It ignores, rather than embraces, our inherent values, thereby ignoring the very thing that makes us human. As they say at the Vatican, that's not kosher. But this priestly, <laughs> silly, but this priestly pushback isn't coming from some righteous right winger, which means even a progressive pope doesn't think it's good if people can change their gender at the drop of a giant white hat. Um, I is that it's unpopular across all political perspectives. Like when you poll on it, even hardcore Democrats say like 70 percent oppose having men play in women's sports and things like that. So what's really weird about it is given that the entire world, I mean, that's in America, the rest of the world just thinks the entire thing is crazy. Mm -hmm. But how come if everybody in the world thinks this is so crazy, how come it's having such, you know, how come it's doing so well in the United States? Uh -huh. I think it's in our media and the people who run our institutions are into this denial of the importance of sexual distinctions. Yeah, I think so. Trouble for weighing in, but uh -huh. we make everyone weigh in. That's yeah. the crazy thing. We ask everyone and then they get in trouble for their opinions. And it all goes back to the transgender or the bathrooms, whether we want to separate the bathrooms or have everyone able to use the same. And, you know, honestly, I think we should separate bathrooms. Yeah, I do. But I think it should be between people who do number one and number two. <laughs> That's... I'm sick of sitting next to public poopers. That's what I'm saying. Get them out. Well, you must hate walking the streets of California. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs>